Hi, hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about sketch the graph of the function. Before we move to the sketch the graph properly, first, you need to know the basic shape of graph. This is a function that we will learn in this chapter. The first one is power function, which is x power of n. It can divide it into a few functions. The first one is a constant function, where x power of 0. Next, it is a linear function, which is x power of 1. Then, it is a quadratic function, which is x squared. And the last function that we learn is cubic function, which is x cube. So these are categorized as a power function. Next, we will learn also about absolute function, which has a modulus sign. Third, we will learn about rational function, which is over x. And fourth, third function which has a square root sign. And then fifth, exponential function which has e power of x. And the last one is logarithmic function which is ln x. Take note that these two functions we learn in subtopic 5.4 specifically. So in this video, we will focus for the first for function. So let's take a look. The first one is the constant function where the left graph is for y equals to k. k can be any value. So this one is for positive value. It can also be a negative value like this as long as the line is parallel to the x axis. The right one is the graph for x equal to h, where h can be any value. h also can be negative value. So like this for negative value, as long as the line is parallel to the y axis. Next, linear function. This function you already learned in the secondary school. In secondary school, you learn y equals to mx plus c, which is equivalent to ax plus b right here. So this one you already learned for positive gradient, which is a greater than 0. And the right one is for the negative gradient, which is a less than 0. Next, the quadratic function. This function you also already learned in the secondary school. The left one is for a greater than 0, which has a minimum value right here. And the right one is for a greater less than 0, which is negative of x squared. So this one will have a maximum value over there. Cubic function. So there are two types of graph for cubic function. The left one is for a greater than 0 and the right one is for a less than 0. Next, absolute function. For the first two graph, this graph is for absolute of ax plus b. So this a Either a greater than 0 or a less than 0, both will result of the same graph. This mainly because we have the modulus sign here, which gives a positive value for any value of x. So in the other hand, for the below one, if we have negative outside the absolute function, the graph will move below y axis for either a greater than 0 
or a less than zero both will result of the same kind of graph also because of the absolute sign over here next for the rational function rational function have two types of basic graph the left one is for a greater than zero where the graph occupies the first and the third quadrant so in these cases x is positive and also noted that there is a value in both x and y where the function is undefined and also the right one is for a less than zero the graph occupy the second and the fourth quadrant and also like the first one they there is also a value where the function is undefined at x and y. Third function. For y equals to third ax plus b, we have two kinds of basic graph. The first one for a greater than zero. So when the value of x increase, the graph will move to the direction of the upper right and for a less than zero as the value of s decrease the graph will move to the direction of the upper left and below one for the graph when we have negative outside the third so the first one for a greater than zero which when the s increase the graph will move to the direction of the bottom right and the last one for a less than zero as the value of s decrease the graph will move to the direction of the bottom left that's the end of the part one in the next video which is part two we will discuss examples how to sketch graph for each function that not include exponential and logarithmic because these two functions you will learn specifically in subtopic 5.4 so remember before we learn how to sketch the graph correctly make sure you memorize the basic graph they already discussed in this video which later on will greatly help you to sketch the graph correctly on the part 2 of this video so make sure you memorize and use that to sketch the graph in the next video